I black? Am I African? Am I African American? Am I African Canadian? Am I black Canadian? Black American? Am I Tanzanian? Because I'm my background is Tanzania in East Africa. I lived in the United States for a great majority of my life, and I lived in now I live in Canada, and uh, that's where I met my wife. And we're a Canadian American Tanzanian family, and my family is multicultural. We have like six cultures in one household. It's pretty crazy. <laughs> My son once said, why does, why, why do I ask me, why do I think I'm black? And I told him, why wouldn't I think I'm black? He said, because if mom's white and you're black, I should be gray. <laughs> you know? So then I'm like, oh, he has a point there, but I'm sure I'm black. <laughs> I got two kids. We just uh, teach them how to be good people. As long as you're a good person, it doesn't matter how you look. Boys and girls, uh, they have to understand their history and they have to move forward though. Fight oppression, but fight it by becoming educated, uh, by helping each other. No animosity at all. Um, we have to unite and we can only take on the system if we're all working together. And when I say together, I mean everybody. Not only your black friends, you should try to work with the whole community because we can only fight it. We fight racism, not races, you know? Not different races, we fight racism, we fight oppression, and you gotta work hard. I just don't see any separation. Of course, we have to acknowledge different races go through different things. You know, some people like Mexicans, you know, I mean, the United States have a hard time with immigration sometimes. Even though a lot of them, Mexico was part of the United States or whatever, black people have a hard time with police brutality and Jim Crow laws in the 70s and 60s. And even here in Canada, there's a lot of police brutality. There's a lot of police shootings and police targeting uh, minority population, West Indian populations. We have to acknowledge that. We have to know it's real. We have to accept that fact. We have to accept history. If we're gonna move forward, you know? No matter what somebody says, no matter what they show you on TV, always be proud and don't be uh, like don't hold your blackness back or your culture back just because you want to fit in. You're perfect this way you are.